Hello kids! Today on Monday 27th of April of 2020 we're gonna be talking about the topic part of nature. This is the introduction to unit 4 of the book. Okay so before we start I'm gonna ask you to open your students book on pages 76 and 77 please. You also need to have your notebook and pencil on hand I'm going to ask you to, play, to pay close attention to the class and use Google Translator, a dictionary, or ask for help with a family member to write your thoughts in English for every activity. This is really important. Okay. Now, as, as an introduction to the unit, today we're going to talk about animals. So, what different kinds of animals are there? For example, you can think of birds, insects, mammals, or even reptiles. Can you name an animal that lives in your area? Maybe an animal that's different from dogs or cats, which are your pets, domestic animals. What kind of group or of animals does it belong to? Does it belong to birds, reptiles, mammals, or insects? Okay, so now on page 76, the first question is, what can you see in this picture? We got a, a big picture that covers all page 76. And what can we see in this? Where is this place? Well, we can look at the caption to find the answer. The caption says, Butterflies on the shoreline of the Juruena River, Brazil. Okay, so this picture is taken in Brazil. In a shoreline? Where? In the Juruena River. Okay, so as you can see in this picture, we got lots of butterflies, lots of butterflies that live in here. We can see that they are yellow and also white colors. We can also see trees over here. We can see sand. We can see some rocks in here. Okay, so as I said, in this case, a river and the land close to it form an ecosystem. What kinds of animals live near rivers? This is a question that you can investigate in Google. What kinds of animals live near rivers? Okay, so as you can see in this picture, well, we know that butterflies live near rivers, but which other animals can live near rivers? Do you know that bears live near rivers too? They live near rivers because they eat the salmon that lives in the rivers. They love that uh, salmon. Okay, so we got all other questions over here that I need you to answer. And those are, how many butterflies do you think there are in the photo? Can you describe the butterflies? What colors are they? What do you know about how butterflies live? Y les voy a dejar las preguntas, la traducción, chicos, siempre en la siguiente diapositiva. ¿Ok? Here it is. Ok, so we got a quote on page 77 and it says, We are part of nature and the ecosystem, not something separate. This means, somos parte de la naturaleza y el ecosistema, no algo separado. Who said this? Juliana Machado Ferreira. Okay, so what does this mean? It means that we all live in the same place. Okay, as you can see, for example, if you're at your house, you, you're not alone. I mean, besides your parents and your family, maybe you got some pets. If you go outside, early in the morning, you can hear the birds singing. You can see maybe seagulls in the sky, maybe an eagle, maybe a hawk. 
there are also trees, plants, flowers. So all of those are part of an ecosystem. So as you can see, we are never alone. It never, we never separate from other living things in the ecosystem that's, that surround us. Okay, so question, what is an ecosystem? An ecosystem means all the plants and animals in one area and how they live together, okay? Now on this page, page 77, okay, we're gonna look at the other part of the photo and the first question is, what kinds of animals live in this place? This is a translation. You need to answer this question, please. The other part of exercise one says, would you visit here? Why or why not? Remember that this part of the world is Brazil. So you can investigate more about this place, which is Huruena, Huruena River. Okay, now on exercise number two, we got another question and it says, how are you part of nature? And the second part says, what do you think nature and wild animals can teach us? Okay, so you need to think it through in order to answer. Now, these are some extra questions that I wrote for you and I need you to answer them too. The first one is, what things do animals need to survive? Do animals need the same things? How does learning about nature help us? What can we, you can think on what can we do to help our environment, to help, to help nature? Now, exercise three says, do you sometimes visit zoos or wildlife parks? Which animals do you see? Have you ever visited maybe SeaWorld or the San Diego Zoo? Or even here, Bosque de la Ciudad? Okay, and last question. Which animals did you like best? Which are your favorite animals from those visits to those parks? Okay, so I'll be waiting for your answers to all those questions. And remember that you can answer in this presentation, guys. Okay, you can... You can edit this presentation and put your answers on it. Remember to use a dictionary or a Google Translator or ask for help. Chicos, entonces recuerden que pueden utilizar el traductor de Google, un diccionario. Es preferible que utilicen el diccionario o pedir ayuda a algún familiar o igual pueden comunicarse conmigo. Para contestar cada una de las preguntas, recuerden contestar Todas las preguntas, ¿ok? Que no se les pase ninguna. Muy bien, que tengan bonito lunes.